Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, throwing together a quickie review for this new Raven Lene EP that she has recently dropped. If you're not familiar with her, she's a singer, she's an R&B artist hailing from Chicago. She is now signed to Atlantic Records. She has dropped this five track EP, which is titled Crush. And Steve Lacey's production is all over this thing. Steve has been getting a lot of attention lately thanks to the work he has done recently with Kendrick Lamar on Damn. And also he yeah, had that, that little solo like little project, that weird solo demos project that dropped. That was that was pretty decent. Uh, however, I wasn't really familiar with his work with Raven uh, until I actually kind of stumbled upon the track Sticky, which is the lead track for this EP. A fantastic track, one of my favorite tracks of the week when I talked about it in a weekly track roundup. Incredibly eccentric, fun, flavorful song. Raven's vocals have a whole lot of character. They're very eccentric. There are a lot of very weird and, and fun vocalizations all over that track. The song feels uh, sensual and poppy and sexy. And while it does have its roots very firmly in kind of the old school of R&B in the 90s, there is something kind of advanced and futuristic about it as well. Now, Raven and Steve clearly have good chemistry together when it comes to songwriting and producing and uh, laying a good vocal track down on some of these beats, but unfortunately a lot of the songs to follow Sticky are not quite as cutting edge, not quite as envelope pushing, though it does show that Raven and Steve together have quite a bit of versatility. I'm not sure if as Raven grows artistically and continues to release music for Atlantic Records, <coughs> because I, I don't see why they would just drop an EP with her unless it totally flopped, which uh, from what I've been seeing, the reception of this so far has been pretty positive. I, I don't see why they would release one single EP from her and just that be it. So as she continues to move forward, I'm not sure if she'll keep working with Steve. I hope she does because it seems like they have a good thing going. Um, I'm loving tracks like Computer Love on here, which is a nice kind of long distance love song, mostly about longing and kind of wanting the other person. Uh, it's not quite as, I guess, uh, digital and futuristic as a lot of songs that are sort of on this same topic, but I do love the very speedy and, and nimble vocal harmonies and, and melodies that her and Steve pull together as they sing. The following two tracks, The Night Song, which comes off a, a little bland to me, and Four Leaf Clover. Steve takes some solo vocal passages on, on this track. They're sort of trading spaces. It's a duet of sorts, uh, but they're vocal chemistry isn't, isn't really there. It's a little awkward. It's a little stiff, in my opinion. But still, it's a very well-produced EP. It's a very well-put-together EP. The songs are very tuneful. They're very sweet. They're very easygoing. Pretty much everything that you would want in a good R&B tune, good groove, very intoxicating, a very smooth sound. But uh, not, not enough, uh, I guess, in terms of just... Um, uh, I guess, risk-taking. But looking back into her past, she's been dropping music pretty consistently, Midnight Moonlight and Moon Shoes in 2016 and 2017, respectively. She's been opening up for SZA. She had vocal appearances with No Name and Mick Jenkins, which uh, escaped my mind at the moment that I was listening to her solo stuff. And even those previous EPs, while not every track was super cutting edge, there were at least a few moments here and there where she's like really doing something and really starting to come into her own as an artist. I mean, even when Raven Lene is playing it pretty safe, she's far from just your average pre-packaged commercial R&B singer. So I don't know at this point. It seems like she's been having this ongoing relationship with Atlantic Records, and I'm just hoping maybe an album comes out at some point soon because to me, this latest EP sounds like some of her boldest, some of her most well put together, and some of her most focused material yet. Because overall, this is a pretty solid EP, could become one of my favorite EPs of the year come list time uh, in December. And uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Make sure to hit up the link down there in the description to listen to some of the stuff on this EP. Tran, Zishin, have you given this EP a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and, and please don't cry. Just leave a thoughtful comment in the comments if you're feeling full of thoughts, okay? Uh, over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Raven Linnae, Steve Lacey, Crush EP, forever.